So what's up guys? Welcome to my travel bucket list vlog. So for today's content, we're going to make a video showcasing my uh, dream destination all over the world. So I hope you like, you share, and you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more upcoming videos. I hope you all enjoy. Bye! So I think majority of you guys know that I'm an avid fan of K-pop. So probably the first on our travel bucket list vlog is South Korea. There are these uh, K-pop idols that I really idolize, um, and especially starting with the original queens of K-pop, Twenty One, the Global Girl Group, Blackpink, and the Nation Girl Group. So White. moving beyond the Hallyu craze, South Korea dramas are gained attention worldwide, uh, recognized as an independent genre called K-drama. Mm, I think my favorite, my most favorite K drama that I watch is School 2015 because of its unique plot and I really like the flow. And besides that, Korea surrounded by waters on three sides and features four distinct seasons and more mountains than plains. And Korean people, uh, have developed unique and remarkable food, clothing, and lifestyles. So guys, if I would have that chance to travel to South Korea someday, I would probably go to these places like the Yum Yum San Recreational Forest, the Namhe Wa Recreational Cypress Forest, the Namsan Seoul Tower, the Jeju Island, and Last but not the least, Myeongdong. The Yum Yang San Recreational Forest was surrounded with beautiful woods and clean valleys. The Yum Yang San Recreational Forest is the first recreational forest in South Korea and has contributed to people's physical or psychological revitalization for 30 years. The Namhe Recreational Cypress Forest was surrounded by dens with Hainuki cypress trees. Overlooking the southern coastal waters allows visitors to enjoy the beautiful surrounding scenery and observe rare animals and plants. The Namsan Seoul Tower, or Seoul's landmark, is considered a must-see in Seoul for tourists. But, it is more like a neighborhood park for Seoul, citizens, and nearby office workers. The park is a recreation area where people can take a walk during their free time, such as weekends and lunchtime, and to relax or stay healthy. Recently, it has been designated as an urban forest park. So its value is further increasing as a green area and recreation area. Jeju Island is the most beloved destination and largest island in South Korea. Its attractive features are largely caused by natural factors including the clear and transparent Emerald Sea, Halasan Mountains with scenic beauty, parasitic cones produced by volcanic eruptions, strange rocks, and bizarre stones created by winds and waves, Sandrine Farms.
Myeongdong is primarily a commercial area and one of Seoul's main shopping, parade route, and tourism districts. So traveling to South Korea won't be also completed without trying their food. So here are the foods that I want to eat if I have the chance to go someday. So guys, for the stuff that I want to buy, it will probably be my favorite K-pop live steak of my beloved K-pop groups. And I think if I got to see any merchandises along the way, I would probably buy it. So if I will go to Korea someday, I would probably try to ride a bicycle there because uh, bicycle tasks are well maintained throughout the city and each city is well equipped with public bicycles so there is no problem enjoying riding a bicycle and i think it's a dream for me because i only saw them on k-dramas but i think if i am the one who will do it it's probably good it's probably good